but the highest architecture is the universe has our back and everything happens for a reason. So if we place the timelines as linear which we know is not you know there is no such thing as uh, linear time but for the purpose of human understanding we will use linear time we have ancient civilizations here and it's say that we are here today so this is us humanity humanity has a big head you see because we are evolving <laughs> into higher consciousness and here later is like the future right so past, present, future. So here in ancient civilizations and the present and the future, if we keep it as a linear time, it means that we are separated. We are separated from the past and we are separated from the future. Because if I am here, I cannot be here and I cannot be there. But here is the actual architecture of time. Time is a spiral of space. Time does not exist. There is only space. Time is simply a measure of how we move from one space to another, how long it takes you to move from one place to another. So actually, it's still not exactly this because it's much more complicated than that. But for the purpose of clarity, we're just going to illustrate it like this. So actually, time is more illustrated like this. So it means that it happens all at once because this is like so connected, these little intricacies are so connected that what happens in ancient civilization is also connected like very closely to what is happening now and what's happening in the future, right? So this is very important to realize because as multidimensional beings, we have our over soul network here, right? And check this out, our over soul network has this current human incarnation. We are just a projection of our over soul network. Some people call this higher self, okay? But over soul network also has other projections. And check this out, projections, ancient civilizations, projections, future timelines, projections on actors, in the Pelagius as a dragon, as you know, a star system that has no name because we haven't connected cl clearly with it yet. So all of this ancient civilization, present and future, happens simultaneously within our higher self, our over soul network. So the fallen angels, it is not something from the past. It is still operating now. The architecture that happened in those ancient civilizations is operating still now. So even if we were in ancient civilizations, not as an angel, because a lot of us were ancient civilizations in different roles, like different functions, the, the potency of the frequency of these timelines was deeply imprinted as collective memory because a lot of us, we have kept it and buried that deep within our subconscious, deep within our oversoul, deep within our DNA. So this information, humanity has it within itself. So it does not really matter if we were an actual fallen angel or not. What matters is that so the grid, we can envision it as a, like as a square, if you want. The grid created around what happened back in those ancient civilizations with the fall of these civilizations is like, if you want, is like a program, like a computer program that keeps on running in humanity. So it means that even souls like star seeds, star children, that come into this planet, they are still in connection with the grids of the planet and the grid of the planet still has this program, this information that has been coded at low frequency about the fallen angels and what it means on an individual level.